A couple weeks ago, we told you some folks in Fort Wayne are trying to get out of their U.S. nationality in exchange for one called more. But some wonder if they're also trying to get out of U.S. obligations like paying taxes. Today, some local Moors sat down with us to answer those concerns. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney joins us in Studio 15 with that story. And Aisha, they think you're Moorish too. Yeah, you just never know, Mark, do you? That was definitely an interesting thought thrown out there today. Even more interesting, though, the separatism in their beliefs. Take a look. Moors is a group of people. It's not a club. It's not a religious cult. It's actually a, a race of people that has been here for uh, since the ancient times, actually from the ancient Moabites. What we call black or African American, Ta El Ali calls Moor. Moors is a race of people, the original people of the earth, the woolly hair, the thick lips, big nose, copper tone skin. El Ali says he's Moorish. So does Jabbar Gaines L. For them, it's more than just an ethnicity. It's a nationality that trumps any other. We never was a U.S. citizen to begin with. And with that, they say they don't have to obey U.S. laws or fulfill any U.S. obligations, like paying taxes. Do you pay your taxes? What a, I'd rather not. Uh, what, a, what a constitution. I pay taxes, but I do so under threat and duress and coercion. So if they don't believe in U.S. laws, then why record documents at a U.S. office, like the Allen County Recorder's office? It's just giving proper notice, so then if we ever do get involved with some type of trouble, they would know our status, and we are not a subject of their city. I also asked them how realistic is it to live in this to live in this country and not follow its laws. They say that they follow the U.S. Constitution and they're confident that any judge would side with their argument. And that's something I'll definitely look into next. Reporting from Studio 15 tonight, I'm Aisha Husney, News Channel 15.